I wanted to do a quick video on proper and improper fractions before we move forward. So you should know that from GCSE um, and Key Stage 3 that proper fractions are those where you have something like this. So two-thirds or four-sevenths or 81 um, hundred and seconds, for example. Okay? So in all three of these cases, these are proper fractions because the numerator is less than the denominator. So an improper fraction would be something like four-thirds or seven-fifths or fifty-eight-thirds. Okay? All of these are improper fractions. Now, to identify them with algebraic fractions, what you need to be looking for is the power of x, the highest power of x that is appearing in the numerator and the denominator. Okay? So, what we would consider to be a proper fraction for algebraic fractions would be something like um, x plus 1 over x squared minus 3, for example. That would be a proper fraction because the power of x, the largest power of x, is in the denominator. Okay? So that will really identify it for you. So I could have x squared plus 3x minus 7 in the numerator. And as long as I've got an x cubed or higher in the denominator, then this will remain a proper fraction. So an improper fraction is if the power, the highest power of x that you have in the numerator, is the same size as the one in the denominator or larger. So, for example, x plus 2 over x minus 3, okay, that is an improper fraction because the power of x that you have in the numerator and the denominator is the same. Likewise, an improper fraction would be something like x to the 4 minus 7x squared plus 5 over x cubed minus 2x minus 3. Okay, so this is an improper fraction because the largest power of x is 4 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. So the large ones in the numerator. So the key to this is that what we're going to be doing in the next few videos is we're going to do a little bit of adding algebraic fractions and subtracting them. Um, but then we want to look at partial fractions. And in order to use the methods of partial fractions, we need to have proper uh, fractions, proper algebraic fractions in order to do it. If we had an improper fraction um, like that, um, which we will see at the end of this set of videos, is we would need to use polynomial division first to break this improper fraction down into a, pro into a whole bit and a proper fraction remainder. OK, and you will see that later on. And that's more of an extension to what we will be doing. Our main focus um, in A-level maths in, at this stage is to focus in on proper fractions.